This is an introduction to renal ultrasonography for the nephrologist. We're going to take a quick look at assessing renal parenchyma and assessing for hydronephrosis. It's important for nephrologists to always exclude obstructive causes of acute kidney injury. We'll also be looking briefly uh, at looking at bladder. With the patient lying supine, we place the scanner on the lateral aspect of the abdomen. Here we'll use the liver as an acoustic window to best view the right kidney. To approximate the size, make small rotational motions of the scanner to find its longest aspect. Visually compare the renal parenchyma with the hepatic parenchyma. Normal renal parenchyma should be the same brightness or isoechoic to the hepatic parenchyma or darker. In states of renal pathology, the renal parenchyma is hyperechoic or brighter than the hepatic parenchyma. Now we fan through the right kidney looking for any evidence of hydronephrosis. Now we'll move to the left kidney, having the patient turn towards us. Again, the scanner is placed uh, uh, on the lateral aspect of the abdomen. Here we use the spleen as an acoustic window to examine the parenchyma of the left kidney. The parenchyma should be darker, should be hy uh, hypoechoic compared to the spleen. Again, we fan through the kidney, looking for any evidence of hydronephrosis. Let's move on to the bladder. Now, to visualize the bladder, we place the scanner on the abdomen and fan down almost all the way to the symphysis pubis. Here we see a very dark, anechoic, fluid-filled sac with posterior acoustic enhancement. To estimate bladder volume, you can measure the bladder in three dimensions. This has been a brief introduction to renal ultrasonography for the nephrologist. We looked at assessing renal parenchyma for evidence of hydronephrosis and looking at bladder for evidence of distension.